Hi, thanks for attending the ECCV 2020 virtual tutorial on virtual recognition for image, video, and 3D. This is the video section, and I am Hao Shi Fan, a research engineer from Facebook AI Research Computer Vision Team. Today, I will talk about one of our major efforts on facilitating video understanding research for the community. Where I want to introduce you to PySolFast, the video understanding code base in PyTorch. The target of having PySolFast is to provide a high performance, lightweight, and very efficient code base, which supports state of art video backbones for video understanding research on many different tasks. Tasks like video classification, action detection, multimodality understanding, self-supervised learning, and etc. PySolFast is designed to support the rapid implementation and evaluating your new brief ideas for video research. Before we dive into the detail about PySolFast, I'd like to quickly share you some high-level view of the relation between image and video, especially to the people who are familiar more about the image counterpart. We can start with a two-dimension space with axis of edge by W, where we can see there's a square and a color of blue in the middle of the screen, which can represent an image. In order to have the video counterpart, we need a third dimension of T. The next thing we need to do in order to get the video is to grow more information along with the dimension of T. Then, by densely fit more continued information along with the dimension of T in a differential manner, we could have a cube here to represent the spatial temporal information from the real world. However, because of the design of the camera and because of the limitation of the computing, we could only able to possess non-differentiable, non-continued spatial temporal snapshots sampled from the original spatial temporal space. After sampling from the original spatial temporal space, we will have a sequence of frames to represent the so-called video, which is the main thing we play with. So by showing us how to bridge from image to the video counterpart, one of the major properties we can learn is because of the introducing of the new dimension of T, processing video will be much more computational heavier than its image counterpart, which suggesting that a code base with efficient training will be highly valuable. Secondly, a unique property of video compared to image counterpart is video would able to carry more modalities. For example, video could carry modalities like RGB, optical flow, or audio information, which suggesting that a code base with the ability of processing multimodality information will be highly valuable. Last but not the least, video is an old and young field. The history of video could be backtracked to dozens of years ago, which makes it a field with one of the longest history in the computer vision. But in the meanwhile, because of the recent effort on large-scale visual understanding, people started to have more breakthroughs on this field, which also make it a young field, which is suggesting a code base with comprehensive state-of-the-art benchmarks will be highly valuable. Because of the motivation discussed here, we want to introduce 
or a way to understand code base PyStore Fast. PyStore Fast is an easy to use way to understand code base in PyTorch for advanced modeling and state of art research tasks. Before we get into the detail of PySol Fast, I'd like to share the timeline or the history of the code base along with some of the important past video research works from our team. It all starts from 2018, where the team had a paper called Non-Local Neural Networks, which the paper introduced the non-local operations as a generic family of building blocks for capturing long-range dependencies. After that, move to 2019, October, we introduced SlowFast Network, a two-pathway network with a slow pathway to capture spatial semantics and a fast pathway to capture the motions at a fine temporal resolution. And the work won the AVA challenge on the track of spatial temporal action localization at the same year in CPR 2019. Move to no November, we have the PyStore fast code base firstly released. It's the ICCV 2019 tutorial on visual recognition for image, video, and 3D with a version number of 0 0.9. Then the same year on December, we have released the version 1.0 with the video detection part implemented. And in the meanwhile, we also released the AVA Challenge winning Model Zoo to share it to the community to produce our result. Then next year, there are two papers from the team got accepted by CVPR 2020 as an oral paper. The first one is the X3D network, expanding architecture for efficient video recognition, a family of efficient video networks that progressively expand a tiny 2D image classification architecture along multiple networks axis in space, time, width, and depth. And we also have the paper Multigrid, a multigrid method for efficient training video models, a simple effective method that significantly speed up the training speed. In June 2020, we are open sourcing two papers, X3D and Multigrid, along with supporting more data sets in PySolFast. Besides that, we are also supporting more visualization and more demos in PySolFast in order to help you better visualize and better understand the behavior of your trained model. Many people are also interested in our work on audio visual so fast, which is an architecture for integrate audio visual perceptions. We are working on open sourcing it along with more components on the video self supervised learning. Since the release of PySol Fast during the last ICCV, we have collected more than 2.5 thousand stars with more than 600 clones and 17 thousands of wheels from the internet. Now we're getting back to discuss our more details about PySol Fast code base, which as I said, it is an easy to use video understanding code base in PyTorch for advanced modeling and state of art research tasks. We could break this long sentence into three keywords, easy to use, modeling, tasks. So in the following presentation, I will visit these three keywords in order. First, we want to discuss the keyword of easy to use. PySolFast is designed to be very easy to hack, which suggests that you're able to encourage to directly modify the code on top of it, and the code base is designed 
to support rapid implementation and evaluate your new novel brief ideas very quickly. In order to facilitate your research and speed up the research cycle, in Python Fast, we provide a comprehensive list of training recipes on different datasets with different type of methods. For example, if you clone the code base and simply list the YAML config files under the config folder, you will see a lot of different YAML files set there with different dataset folder like Ava, Charade, Kinetics, something something, and others. And each of them will support different type of models from some standard C2D conversational 2D models to some high capacity Stofast models. We are still trying to grow the size of the model zoo and to make it support even broader range of the models. If you check any of the config file, you will find some YAML config look like what we have on the right side. And more importantly, the recipe is reproducible, which means when you get your environment correct and get your data properly downloaded and pre-processed, then by simply running the training code with the same YAML we provided, you will have the same curve and the same performance as released in the paper. By playing with config, you could decide what dataset you could want to train on. For example, here we are having a kinetics dataset as a training set. And you could also decide what kind of model you want to play with. And what is a training recipe and of course, how many machines you want to use. By simply changing the dataset from Kinetics to Ava, you are able to train your network on Ava dataset. And if you want to play with some backbone with higher capacity, then you can simply replace the architecture from i3D to Stofast then the model builder will help you to build a Stofast model. You could also change the learning rate schedule with some cosine learning rate. Train your network with eight machines by simply replace the one to eight. Beside of the YAML, we also provide the corresponding pre-trained models, which means you can directly took the model off the shelf and test it or fine tune it on many different data sets or many different tasks you're playing with. So here is an example snapshot of the pre-trained models we provided from the simplest 2D convolution to some higher capacity networks like Slowfast. Note that these networks are trained and tested on the Kinetics 400 data set. Beside of releasing the portrait model on Kinetics dataset, which is one of the most standard tasks for video representation learning, we're also releasing a large model too on many other different datasets. For example, here, this is another snapshot of the model we provided to the users, which is the portrait model for AR dataset. We're also releasing pre models for many other datasets like something something and Sharice. You could find more details from the model two sections in the code base. Beside of everything mentioned above, in order to make the code base easier to use, PyStoFast will also release a tool for visualization and more specifically for visualizing classification and detection results. Beside of light, a camera demo will also be released soon in order to help the quantitative evaluation on models. This current slide shows a few examples on PySlowFast supporting visualizing different signals during training and evaluation. It includes some examples like visualizing running curves for different metrics like training accuracy, training loss, or testing accuracy. 
Besides that, we also share some examples on visualizing confusion metrics for class level performance analysis. You can also find some histogram visualization of class predictions in this slide. Besides of that, PySolvas also provides several models analysis tools, including model weight visualization, activation visualization from different layers, and grad cam visualization in order to highlight important regions. You can find these examples and visualizations in this slide. We believe that the above visualization tool could help you to better track your training process and in the meanwhile facilitate the model analysis. In order to share you directly how we're going to visualize the video detection results, we have already put a demo GIF in the folder of PySolFAS slash demo. Feel free to grab the code base and take a closer look at the demo GIF to collect more information. Besides of the demo GIF we put in the PySolFAS code base, we also want to share you more visualization results on video detection in this tutorial. Note that the model we're using for visualization is SlowFast model, and the model is trained on AWA 2.1 training set, and also like the testing is performed on validation dataset. Here is a demo example on visualizing the video detection results on AWA dataset. You will be able to see there are green bounding boxes and red bounding boxes in the video demo. The red bounding boxes are indicating the ground truth, and in the meanwhile, the green bounding boxes are the predictions from the human detector. Besides of that, you will also see some class labels and their corresponding confidence on the top of each of the bounding box, which is clearly the predictions from the model. On the other hand, you will be able to see some ground truth classes on the bottom of the bounding box. It is very interesting to see that even though a lot of actions are actually very hard and fine-grained, the model is still able to correctly predict the label and the predictions and the ground truth are majorly aligned. For example here, the model is not only able to tell the actions from this person. But more impressively, the model is also able to tell the fine-grained interactions between person, more specifically understanding who is the one talking and who is the one listening. You will find more interesting visualization results from the video. The slide will be uploaded and feel free to download it to get a closer look at the results. We also provide a command line in the bottom of this slide. It is very easy to play with our demo with your own video as input. You can feel free to follow this simple command line and pass the input of your video to the code base. And we have provided detailed instructions in the GitHub. Please check out our GitHub page if you are interested. So after discussing the section of easy to use, we want to move to the next section, which is the modeling. The modeling includes two parts. We're not only supporting advanced backbone models, but also support state-of-art schedulers. So let's talk about the state-of-art backbone model first. So in PySlowFast, we are supporting many different types of backbones. It starts from the convolutional 2D networks to the in-phase 3D networks, and then to the non-local block, which proposed from the paper non-local neural networks. Besides of that, we also provided some higher capacity model like slow and slow fast 
introduced from the paper of slow fast networks for video recognition. If you are interested in our works on CVPR 2020, Pi Slow Fast is releasing X3D networks and CVPR oral paper in 2020. Besides of that, we're also planning to release the audiovisual slow fast for better support on multimodality research. The work is introduced by Fan Yi, Yong, Kristin, Jitendra, and Christoph. You can find the paper on archive now. Beside of the state of our backbone we support in the Python Fast code base, we also support some advanced scheduler. Multigrid, another CVPR oral paper presented on CVPR 2020 this year, authored by Chao Yuan, Ross, Kaiming, Christoph, and Philip. The paper introduced a multigrid method to significantly speed up the video training time by three to six times, while achieving similar or even higher performance comparing to the baseline method. By open sourcing the multi-grid method as one of the major advanced scatterer in the PySofast codebase, we hope it can benefit the video community, especially for the people who does not have enough GPU resource for computing. So after the modeling, we will talk about what kind of tasks will be supported by PySofast codebase. We will firstly talk about what are the supported data set in PySofast and following with what are the supported tasks by PySofast codebase. Currently, the PySofast are supporting many different data sets. Data sets like Kinetics 400, Kinetics 600, and Kinetics 700 for video classification. PySofast is also supporting AWA for video detection. Besides of that, we are also supporting UCF and HMDB for small-scale action classification. And we are also supporting Charade and something something dataset as well. We are planning to support more datasets. And if you have your own datasets want to be supported by PySofast, we will come to contribute to the code base. We are also supporting many different tasks in the code base. Here are the tasks we support in the PySofast codebase. We'll discuss them one by one. For example, the default task in the codebase is video classification, which means if you grab the codebase and do not modify anything about the config or the running command, then you will train a new network on the Gnati dataset for the classification task. We also support video detection, which we mainly use the AVA dataset with additional bounding box and ROI layers. By open sourcing audiovisual slow fast, we are supporting multimodality video understanding in Pi slow fast, which we hope the richer information from more modalities could help you for your own research. And because PySlowFast is very easy to hack, you can easily implement your own tasks. We will share you an example of how can you modify PySlowFast for self-supervised learning tasks in only five minutes. Before we work through the parts that need to be modified in order to play with the self-supervised learning, I want to give you a brief overview of the main logic of the codebase. The logic of PySofast starts with parsing the config and build your models. Then you will have a backbone as what we can see from the left side built by the model builder. And then the next thing is to prepare the input. The video data loading is generally one of the most complicated and sometimes even confusing part in many different video related code bases. The good news is, in the PySofast codebase, we have already carefully taken care of that 
so you don't really have to do much. Start from loading the raw video from the local disk. Then the video will be decoded with a selective decoding for better efficiency. After that, a spatial and temporal sampling will be performed on top of the decoded frames to finalize the data preparation. After you collect the data, the model will be trained with the data we prepared and batch norm statistic will be properly adjusted. After training is done, an evaluation will be performed after certain epochs. And finally, we will have performed a multi-view testing to get the final results. Then we want to simply share you how can we modify the Pi slow fast to make it support a rotation baseline for self-supervised learning. There are only three things you need to do. The first thing is simply adding an additional transformation to rotate the video frames, as what we can see from the right side in the code. Secondly, we need to implement the head for regression to the degree of rotation, which a simple linear with proper activation will be enough. And the last thing we have to do is rise to a corresponding loss layer for the rotation baseline. So finally, we have introduced PySelfast codebase with three direction, easy to use, advanced modeling, and supporting many tasks. I want to here thank the team for their great contribution to the PySelfast codebase. The members from the PySelfast team are Hao Qi, Yang Hao, Bo, Wen Yan, and Christoph. Thanks for your great effort and thanks for your great contribution to the code base. If you are interested in or has already working on video understanding, no matter the task is video classification, detection, or self supervised learning, or some multi-modality understanding, we highly encourage you to try out our code base. The link are here and just feel free to grab it from the GitHub. We wish you could enjoy using the code base and welcome everyone to contribute to the PySofast code base. Thank you for attending the virtual tutorial.